Greetings, I'm Benjamin McAllister. Welcome to the Perennial Gadgeteer. Recently, my owner unexpectedly won something in a contest right here in the YouTube community. Can you believe it? I've been sniffing this box for a while here with my Airedale nose, trying to figure out what's inside this box. I just don't know. So, I'm going to unbox it for my owner and try to get him to demonstrate it. Oh, uh, I do apologize. I am just a dog and my mouth has to function as my hands, so I can't do one of those really big and dramatic unboxings like so many other YouTubers opening their packages with their swords, machetes, or their chainsaws, or anything like that. All I have is this ordinary little Swiss army knife, but hopefully this will still be fun. All right, this is me slicing the tape on the box for my owner. As I say, he won this package in a contest run by Jimmy Stewart on his YouTube channel. I'll provide a link to his channel in the description, as I highly recommend his channel to anyone interested in guitars. He does a lot of great reviews of budget guitars on his channel, as well as a lot of wonderful blues, rock, and jazz type jams. And here we have a note from him. Very nice. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, Jimmy. And you're welcome. It's a great channel. Again, I highly recommend everybody check it out. And now we get to the actual product. So there it is. An Azor effect pedal with a very mean looking clown on the side. And there it is, a mouse delay, model AP508. So, let's open this boy up and see what's inside. And it looks like we start here with a uh, product manual or brochure of some sort. Yeah, looks like it's more of a brochure than anything. And there shows the other products like Cattle Fuzz, Tiger Overdrive, <laughs> Horse Overdrive, Chicken Overdrive, <laughs> oh my, Snake Distortion, Dog Distortion, Mouse Delay, Dragon Reverb, Bunny Compressor, Goat Chorus, huh, wonder what that is, Chorus of Bleeding Goats, can't imagine that, but what about that Dog Delay? And here we have the actual product. And there it is. Pretty mean looking mouse. There's some Velcro for mounting it on a pedal board, I presume. So there it is. We're going to be playing it through this marvelous vintage PV amp. This will be a short demonstration. We're not going to be demonstrating all of its various settings or doing a comprehensive review of it or anything, uh, although we may do that at some point in the future. And if anybody has any questions about it, they can certainly leave comments. We will respond to them as best we can. We are going to be demonstrating it with the guitar on the left. This is the IYV IP350. Uh, my owner originally bought this one from another guy on YouTube uh, doing business as Flowforth Instruments back when he was living in Colorado. He has evidently since moved back to his homeland in the UK, but uh, we wish him well. He was great to do business with, and he certainly took care of this guitar, made it even better than stock with nice smooth fret ends and everything. Once we've done our demonstration, we might just play a tune on this guitar on the right, the Firefly Model FFTL. It's kind of a nice looking guitar, isn't it? All right, on with the demonstration. <laughs> I 
probably should mention that my owner is not a very good guitar player, as you'll probably see, especially when it comes to finger picking. But he is working very hard to get better, and hopefully this will show in future videos. As you can probably see, this effect pedal works very well overall. My owner is very pleased with it, and thank you so much Jimmy Stewart for sending it. Again, highly recommend you folks check out his channel. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, cause if you like and subscribe, good videos will continue to come your way. Like and subscribe, folks, and that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you.